Hi guys, it's Nunu and I'm here in Essay 1 with you, Understanding How Hitler Rose to Power, 1,250 words, 120 points. Uh, so let's survey this assignment. What do we have? We have Adolf Hitler uh, sitting in a pleasant garden uh, on the cover of Time magazine with a dog. Okay, uh, this is the March 13th, 1933 cover of Time. Here is the cover story inside the magazine, Germany, National Revolution. Okay, so what is this image of a man and his dog uh, call to mind? Well, um, we have an iconic image in American culture, a boy or a man and his dog. In fact, it's across many cultures, and you see it here. Okay, uh, let's survey the rest of this assignment. What do we have? We have a link with the purpose and the discussion rubric. That's how I evaluate this assignment. We have a part one that's due by uh, this Friday, and we have a part two that's due by Saturday. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and click on the purpose of this assignment. Uh, discussion one purpose. In this course, our overall topic is what flaws in the critical thinking process do individuals, groups, politicians, and entire governments make so that tyrants are able to rise to power. To help us answer this question, we're going to use Adolf Hitler, 1889 to 1945, as a vehicle, a way of understanding how tyrants rise to power. We will begin exploring our topic by gaining a clear understanding first of how a person like Hitler rose to power, and in the process we will learn what deductive reasoning is as opposed to inductive reasoning. Okay. Uh, so let's read part one together. I am not going to read uh, the discussion rubric with you. Uh, you uh, can click on it and find out how um, I evaluate the assignment here. Okay, so part one. Uh, click here on this link to learn what deductive, inductive, and abductive reasoning are, and here to study different kinds of syllogisms, a form of deductive reasoning. So let's click here. To show that this link is active and then let's click here to show that this link about uh, syllogisms uh, is also active. Okay, uh, two on the internet research evidence about what kind of leader Adolf Hitler was before and up to March 13th 1933 when he was named person of the year by time and I have helpful sources for you here. Uh, Okay, whoops, sorry, I had um, something on the internet pop up. All right, uh, going down, uh, number three, in a minimum of 1,000 words, four pages, detail what events had occurred in Germany that indicated what kind of leader Hitler was, explain what kind of faulty deductive reasoning someone might engage in, creating a faulty syllogism if that person did not know how much about Hitler I did not know much about Hitler and viewed the March 13th, 1933 cover of Time, but did not read the article inside the magazine, which detailed the danger Hitler posed to Jewish people and the world, and argued that the cover above of Hitler with a dog in a garden was or was not irresponsible and dangerously misleading news coverage of Hitler. And once again, uh, this is the cover. Okay. All right, part two, post by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday. One, evaluate the work of two of your peers for this assignment, comparing their contentions about the 1933 cover with your own. Two, each evaluation should be a minimum of 125 words, a half page, and a total of 250 words, one page. Put each peer's name in capital letters above his or her evaluation. Okay, so we'll scroll up. And uh, we'll end on this image of Hitler on the cover of Time. And I'm going to remind you that I'm here in inbox. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can reach me here. And you're never emailing me too much. If something's not clear, you need to teach me how to make it clear, and we'll collaborate together. And if you have any suggestions for me about this assignment, uh, please share them. All right. Uh, let's uh, enjoy this assignment. and. Uh, 
it's definitely um, thought-provoking, I think, uh, this cover here. 